Hi everyone. I'm giving you a brief review of the terms that you'll be needing for the quiz. Don't worry if you don't catch everything because this will be placed directly into the quiz that you'll be taking on the Google form. An object is a performer in a command. It performs methods. In this case, we have a turtle that's stepping. Here we have a crocodile that's turning. The object is followed by a period and then the method name. Object, period, method name. The method is the action that the object performs. So it's telling you, like a sentence, the object performs this method. So the methods are written in blue distance to, turn to, and step. And let's see. So distance to is a method measuring a distance between two objects. Turn to is what the crocodile is doing. And the turtle is stepping. These are all actions. If a method has more than one word in it, it's written in camel case. Camel case begins with all lowercase in the first word and each word after it begins with a capital letter. These two methods have two words in them and notice how the T in two is capitalized in both of these methods. This is camel case. An argument is a value passed to a function or method. It tells exactly how the method's being performed. The object turtle does the method of turning, but the argument passed to the method tells the program that the turtle is turning to the left. Step is the method. 15 is the argument passed saying that the monkey is stepping 15. Monkey distance two, banana is the argument being passed to the distance two method to say we're finding the distance between the monkey and the banana. So all three of these arguments tell us exactly how, what is being done with this method, how it's being done. Here, cat dot say object dot method, and meow is the argument being passed to the say method. Meow is describing exactly what the cat is saying. So that's why it's an argument. It's being passed to the say method. An array is a collection of objects. Notice how the array is written as a plural noun. The coins array is going to have elements of coins zero, coins one, and coins two. CodeMonkey tends to do that in its syntax. Now, the index is the number written inside the brackets. It goes after the array name and tells us what element we're referring to. Coins zero is the first element, coins one is the second element, and coins two is the third element. So elements or objects or items in an array, and this has one, two, three elements, these are the three elements, and 0, 1, and 2. Each of those is an index. An index is the number inside the brackets. An iteration is a repetition. You're going through the same list of commands for each of the elements in a list or array. So for B and bananas, for T and turtles, the indented commands are being done. But we do not have a specific number of times that's written down to say how many times the monkey is turning and stepping. We don't know this. All we know is that all the turning and stepping ends once every B and bananas has been gone through. All the turtles are going to step 10. We don't know how many turtles, so we don't know how many times this happens, 
but we do know that once every turtle has stepped, the iteration ends. So the indented commands are repeated for each element in the array. A loop is a sequence of instructions, and the loops we have learned are repeated a specific number of times. There's a dot before the not, I mean, after the number. The number comes before the dot, telling us how many times the indented lines repeat. So these lines are going to repeat four times. So this type of loop that we learned in CodeMonkey, the um, number of times is specifically written in the code. That's why it's associated with a specific number of times where the iteration is not. This is the end of our lesson. And I really hope you understand this for the quiz. Feel free to go back, keep rewatching, and um, good luck on your quiz, and stay well. Goodbye.